Well, hello, loyal viewers. This is Joe. I'm in a hotel room in Collegeville, yes, College, Collegeville, PA, which is adjacent to Oaks, PA, which is where Too Many Games is, which is where we just came from. I'm right? exhausted. I'm yeah. I'm, I my wallet is also much lighter. Yes. Yes. Mine is even lighter than yours. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> I gave you money you gave for me this money. hotel room, <laughs> and then you spent it on video games. Um, so this is Eric from Game vs. Game, which you probably know if you watch this channel because he was in the Street Fighter video, and I was in his Street Fighter video, and it was great. And we're both in the most recent episode of Console Wars. Console Wars. We hung out with those guys today, and that was great. And uh, what we're doing right now is we are checking out some grab bags that we got at the show from... Well, that you got. I'm just here for posterity. Yeah, you're just here for... Um, Shiggles. Yeah. As it is. As it is. Uh, these, I don't remember who they, I think the card is going to be in here, so we'll know who they're from, and I'll tell you. But this dude was like, yeah, I made these grab bags, and they're two for $25, and uh, we're going to find out what's in them. There's an NES one and a PlayStation 1. One. 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 Two? No. <laughs> uh, as well. Two also. Uh, no. So we're going to start with PS1. One, because one, our friend Jeremy got a, the same combination and his PS1 one, 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 one was less enticing than the NES one. So I'm going to start with the PS1 one, one. one. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. And these are from Retro Gen Regen, Retro Generation in the White Marsh Mall in Nottingham, Maryland. And the sheriff lets him operate his... You can follow him on Twitter at re underscore gen underscore store. There you go. Let's see what we got here. So, Air Combat. This is sadly I like. I have a, the weird fetish for long box PlayStation games, and this is the obviously the greatest hits version. But that's fine. It's still a fun game, and I don't have this one. So long box we'll collecting that. is pretty niche thing. It's it, it or niche niche. Yeah, no niche. niche ni either is correct. Niche. I think. Yes. <laughs> uh, Long boxes are pretty cool. Long they don't fit on the shelves, cool. though. They really don't. Uh, and I don't, I'm not, like, obsessive about it. I just think not they're Not going neat. for a full set? No, not at all. Uh, my sister has a long box Twisted Metal that we got when we bought our first PlayStation nice. when I was in high school and she was in junior high school. And I told her she's never allowed to sell it to anyone but me. Except you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Rocket Power... Team Rocket Rescue. So this is a, this was a Nicktoon that's after <laughs> yeah. my time. Uh, I, I recall watching it a few times. So I know nothing about this or this game. I but imagine I know it's a rollerblading game. It looks like... I didn't know there was a game. Uh, let's see. These pictures on the back tell me that it is time for some grindage. I can grab some metal. Riding high. This catch sounds like a very air, adult game. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling with Team Rocket. This was Not Pokemon. Yeah, no, no, no. It, uh, Different Team Rocket. I mean, is it like a jet grind radio kind of deal? It looks like it's multiple. Blading? It looks like there's snowboarding and skateboarding. Yeah, they were all like extreme BMX. sports. Okay, take a look. Yeah, take a look. While you pull out the next. But one. I don't. That came out in 2001. Ryan? I was. Just, I graduated high school in 2001. So by the time I was watching Nicktoons, I think it was well. Their past. faces are terrifying. They are. The, you see yeah. chilling with Team Rocket. Yeah, their face. Yeah, they're. It's That's like, like your soul is. It's like 3D. It looks like it's it's 3D models. Like instead of going for looking at like the actual Nicktoons, it's like 3D models with like the horrifying. That is terrifying. Klasky Supo art like pasted onto them. Uh, Klasky Supo also responsible for Duckman, which is a much better <laughs> cartoon. Duckman. Duckman is great. Uh, Death Trap Dungeon. Uh, I remember this game. It's it's. Fucking terrible. I've never ever heard it's of it. It's real bad. It's an early Eidos <laughs> PlayStation 1 game and it's real bad. The box art is pretty fantastic. There was a series of ads in magazines for this that involved like a woman in bondage gear like whipping. <laughs> because this, because this PlayStation. Woman? That woman, yeah. But it was like a model dressed up right. like that woman if, if memory serves. All right. And last. The PS1 one. Glover. Which I've actually heard one. is a pretty decent game. Yeah. I didn't realize there was, I feel like I thought there was just N64. I looked into it once, of actually doing it on my show. Oh, really? Um, but yeah, uh, 64 and PS1. Is it is it different, or did you, stop, to did be you honest, decide against it because it's the same thing? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I was just looking at titles that existed on yeah, multiple consoles. On sure. Isn't it, it's, it's from Atari. 
one of the. But I've heard. I mean, I've heard good things about it. It's from Hasbro when Hasbro like had the Atari trademarks or something. I don't know. Clever themed puzzles that require use of both glove and ball. That that's a bullet point. I mean, at least they didn't use the word hand. Hand and ball. Hand and ball. This is hand and glove. Um, okay, so that's again. That was the PlayStation. That was Glover, Death Trap Dungeon, Rocket Power, Team Rocket Rescue, and Air Combat. Uh, given that bucks? I paid twelve fifty uh, for each of these, I would say that I probably got my money's worth. Even though, like, the only uh, two of these I probably will play, two of them I probably <laughs> will not. But I mean, I think that's kind of the cool thing about sort of you know blind grab bags is that you get stuff that you might not play otherwise. Yeah, you might be pleasantly true. surprised that you're really really happy with Rocket Power or something like that. It's it's possible. I might be like, this is the secret best Tony Hawk game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> slash I, Cool Borders. Yeah. Slash Jet Grind Radio. The fact that it's trying to do all those things in one yeah. game probably means it's not the secret best of any of those things. And it probably, it definitely doesn't have the soundtrack that Tony Hawk Pro Skater had. No. It's the Tony Hawk Pro Skater soundtrack. It's Goldfinger and Dead Kennedys and Suicide Machines and Vandals and so much good stuff. This staple is serious. Jesus. So the NES one only has three games. Yeah, I don't need the bag games. The NES one has only three games, so we'll see what we yep. have in here. I'm not looking in the bag ahead of time either. Oh. Top Gun! Land uh. the plane on the carrier. <laughs> I don't think I Do have Do you have a copy? Game. I don't think so. The problem is I have so many NES games yeah. that it's like hard to remember at this point like what I have and what I don't. I bought a copy of this at the show yesterday. So, uh, I'll trade. I'll try. I'll just trade <laughs> trade bait tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. Let's see if I can. This is from Regen Retro Generation Game. You can follow him on Twitter at re underscore gen underscore <laughs> store games. Or Skater Die Two: The Search for Double Trouble. I already have this one. Oh. So it's also trade bait, I guess. That was kind of a bust. You need to try uh, to trade it back to him without him knowing. That's I should. But this is uh, if you've never heard the song. The title screen theme from this game. Skater Die was always so a good time. To, you have to do that because this is the one. That, it, it talks. One of the few NES <laughs> games that talks. It's like skate or die. It's it's great. You have to. You have to. I might just splice some of it in right here. There. But you won't be hearing. You need no. to hear it. I'll pull it. Up. I'll play it for you after we're done <laughs> recording this, so you'll know. Uh, so yeah. So this is kind. This one was kind of a bust, a which is weird, because Jeremy's, as I said, was was good. Jeremy bought yeah. one of these as well, and he got legendary wings, legendary wings, Jaws, Jaws, and another and Codename <laughs> uh, Viper. Yeah, you get two Viper. Capcom games. Um, you do not. I did not. <laughs> I got Skater Die Two, which is weird about this too is. They're both EA games, Skater Die, and the first one was published by uh, Konami or by Ultra Games, mm -hmm. which was Konami, and the second one is published uh, was published by EA on the NES. Which EA didn't publish very much on the NES. No, probably because they couldn't make odd shaped carts like yeah, they did on Genesis. That's right, with the yellow tabs. Yeah, <laughs> I saw a copy of Mutant League Hockey on the show floor, nice. and the guy wanted like. Way like, too much money. Way too much money. I was just I can't. I can't do that. All right. So yeah. So I have Tetris. I have Skater Die Two. I will try to use these as trade stuff for cheap games that I actually want tomorrow. Maybe I'll try to trade both of them for a copy of Super C. There you go. I've been price tracking <laughs> Super C on the show floor. I've looked at like I don't know how many copies of Super C well, I looked you've, at. You've told me at least like six prices. Uh, yeah, I saw. One, we saw another yeah. game shop at twenty. Yeah. Right. Let me went to a game shop today. In the King of Prussia Mall, one of two King of Prussia malls that are located adjacent to each other. I think other. I'm still confused. I'm still confused, and they had it for <laughs> one twenty or twenty five. So maybe I, that's what I'll do. So that's that. So uh, I'm gonna do a full I uh, think pickups video once I get home. But There's I wanted a lot to, of stuff. I want. I bought a lot of stuff at this show. So, but I wanted to do these because I thought it'd be fun to do it with Eric. It is fun. It was fun, and and uh, and Dan from uh, Console Wars got one of these as well. The I NES one, I think. An NES one, and it would I would have liked to have been able to do, it, but they went home already. They were only here for a day. They didn't stay. That's understandable. I got. It's understandable. 
two hour drive in the rain. Yeah, which probably makes it a three hour drive. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that. So uh, hey, check out Eric's channel, which is uh, game. Is it game versus game or is it? Uh, the username is Grydor, but uh, it's game versus game. Is the there'll show. be an annotation like right? I don't know. I'm not shooting this, so I can't see the frame. But there'll be an annotation <laughs> around here somewhere uh, with a link to you his channel. You can click it. You can click it, and of course, you know, watch everything that I do because it's all great. Thanks for watching. <laughs>